Just a quick little interesting thing. Everyone's talking about this Lilibet thing. Let me know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's tough to pronounce between Harry and Meghan. Now, there's different reports, but the vast majority of them say the same thing. If you don't know the story, obviously Harry and Meghan named their daughter Lilibet. And this was after Queen Elizabeth's nickname that was very private because from what I understand, a lot of people were not aware of that nickname myself included. They claimed they got permission, but it's come out that they did not. There are a few sources saying they did, but they seem like total nonsense because the only reference they have is Megan's mouthpiece, Omid Scooby. You guys have some funny uh, nicknames for him, by the way. But the other thing too is the other sources have make no sense and why would this just be made up? But for me, I think there's some interesting aspects to this. Number one is the idea that's come out that Meghan Markle also literally copyrighted the name and or trademarked it, whatever the legal thing she could do was, before the kid was even born. That is insane, but that is very consistent with what we've seen from Harry and Meghan. The other thing that I think about, in some of my earlier videos, I looked at Harry as a bit of a victim before I've learned more about him. Right, like you could see some of it, he's been very manipulated, but he definitely has a cruel side. Something that I think a lot of people are not thinking about is aside from everything else, think of Harry just as a person, right? And he has a grandmother. And at the time of this happening, she was 95. What kind of person would do something that upsets their 95 year old grandmother? Like that is cruel and crazy and not normal. And this got me thinking, I'm sorry I don't remember who, but one of you told me about this, that there were images of Harry abusing a horse and they are absolutely true. I cannot even show them to you because YouTube does not allow certain images like cruelty and um, I don't even know if you could say the word, the stuff that happens when people get, there is an image of the horse where his spur to the horse. And you could Google that, look it up, and there were all sorts of excuses. And that's the interesting thing. At the time, Harry was under like the protection of the palace. So it's the exact opposite. He was protected from the media. He was not thrown under the bus. He was protected. He was like late 20s when he did this. That is not normal to abuse a horse drawing, you know, that red stuff. I don't know, YouTube is very strict about that from the horse, which you could see in the image. So that tells us so much. He was protected and he has a very mean, cruel streak. I think when he just doesn't get what he wants and there's just something a little bit off about him. Because when you combine those two things, the cruelty to his grandmother when she was 95, 96, and cruelty to a horse, not when he was just a kid, which is already a horrible indicator, but not just a kid without emotional control, but a man in his like mid or late 20s. That is awful. So let me know guys what you guys, what you guys think. Sorry, it's a little late. Take care.